up nice and early to beat the heat today as we walk the first stage to Fistera. It's a lovely time to be up. I was, I was about to say it's nice and quiet, but they're cleaning the streets. Um, it should be lovely and quiet out on the trail this morning. Okay, let's have a look. 89.5 to Fistera and 86.4. So when you hit this, make sure you come along this way. Do not go up that side path because we just went that way and it's wrong. Beautiful quiet walk this morning, past maybe five or ten pilgrims. Um, we started early. Uh, yeah, it's great to be back on this route to Fistera. Bit of a steep climb coming up and the albergue that we hope to stay at. <sighs> it's a nice steep climb. Oh. a great little cafe spot up ahead. Stop here, maybe get a bocadillo for uh, my second or my third breakfast. <laughs> I think we're nearly there. We're aiming to stay in Hostel Anhana, which apparently has a 
saltwater pool in the back. So quite looking forward to that because it's a really kind of warm, clammy day. So it'd be nice to cool off. Um, yeah, it's been a good walk. Some uh, steep sections, as you may have guessed by my out of breath state. Uh, yeah, it's been a really enjoyable first day. It's great to be back out on the Camino and walking towards Fistera and Muxia. I just phoned the owner of Hostel and Hana and the from kind of my bad Spanish and kind of broken English found out that the owner is in hospital so they are closed at the moment so we're going to push on and try and find somewhere else I've stayed in Alberg San Jose before that's quite nice you can do that if you want is that on 250 okay I say let's follow the arrow yeah, okay. <laughs> The fact that they have a rubber mattress is a good sign. I know kind of a standard hotel, you would maybe freak out if you saw this, but this means that bed bugs can't get into the mattress. So this, this is a good thing. <laughs> the great one for keeping your valuables safe is to clip your bum bag with your valuables in to the top of the shower rail. Pull this across, put your towel over, keep it dry, and that way you've got your money safe while you're having a shower. tired this morning. Um, the dreaded snorers were in full effect in the alberghe last night. Um, got woken up about 10 to 4. This is kind of low drilling snoring. Um, it just cut straight through my earplugs. Um, so yeah I'm just feeling quite tired and sluggish. Uh, I suppose that's Camino life. I'm going to try and get a nap in um, when I get to the albergue, but we've got, I think, a 33 kilometre day today, so it's a longer one.
menos. sometimes see on this route pilgrims going the other way. They walk back from uh, Finisterre to Muscia, as these guys are. Bring Camino. Hola. Hola. <laughs> Time for a break and some food. Rest my feet. I think at some point uh, today there's going to be a big climb. Um, I've seen the profile the Wise Pilgrim app and it climbs up and up and up so final um, big push before we get to this town before where we're going to maybe stop for coffee or a coke or something and then push on for the last three to five kilometers to our albergue Made it. I don't think we can class this as breakfast number four. I think it's it's lunchtime. So time for some lunch. Well earned. Bring Camino. <laughs> I'm done now. I really want to be there. It's after three. It's warm. Yes, I know. I'm, I'm moaning. I'm a moaning Englishman on the Camino. But um, yeah, I just want to be there now. Thankfully, I used booking.com last night and I have a bed secured because of the last town, uh, is it Lago or Lagos or Lagos? Or I'll put it kind of down here. The, they were booked up. So I'm glad I made the decision to secure a bed up ahead made it not a moment too soon now to find the albergue Start. 
lovely peaceful morning again. Pushing on to Fisterra today, which is about 31 kilometers. Um, hopefully we get a bit of cloud cover today, so it doesn't get too hot, but with it being Spain, I'm sure it will get warm. Um, yeah. Good morning. So there's another stop about a kilometer along. Normally you wouldn't stop so soon after a quick breakfast stop, which I have to say was the driest croissant I think I've ever had on Camino, even with some uh, kind of margarine type butter stuff. It was, wasn't the best. Um, but yeah, this next stop up ahead is the last one for 15 and a half, nearly 15 and a half kilometers before we get to sea. So might pop in second, third breakfast, which is the norm on the Camino and have a drink, use the bathroom because it'll be the wild open plains before we see the sea. So yeah, or before we see sea, sorry, really bad pun. So this, I believe, is the last stop um, before sea, which is a little over 15 kilometers away. Got the famous double way markers where you decide, I believe, left to Fistera, right to Muxia. Interesting statue. It's lovely and peaceful on the way to sea. Um, past a couple of people, but up ahead, there uh, doesn't seem to be anyone. Um, it's a lovely, quiet time to walk early morning and, and the sun isn't at its hottest. Um, yeah. 23 until Fistera. Great Camino. Great Camino. Hello, bring Camino. station here for pilgrims, Donativo and uh, water. Mm. 
the temperature is really picking up. It's crazy hot. Um, as you walk by the sea, it takes everything, every fibre of your being. So I nearly went wrong then. Every fibre of your being, not to just throw off your pack and jump in the water. And I could, but I also know there's a beach waiting for me in Fistera, cold beer and no more walking. So if I was to jump in now, I probably wouldn't want to carry on walking. So I'm going to grin and bear it, get through the heat and then enjoy a nice ice cream and a cold dip in that lovely ocean. Eight point five to go until the lighthouse. So maybe two point five off that to the centre of Fistera. Ah, oh, look at that! Beautiful beach. Time for a beer, I think, if they're open. So, uh, cheers, everybody. Cheers. Good morning. Cheers. cheers. <laughs> hand down, Joe. Block his face. Hand down. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful morning, uh, very quiet. I've not seen another pilgrim yet. Um, the birds are chirping. Uh, the rain has stopped, but it's kept it nice and cool. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it and I'm loving what I've seen so far. Oh, it's so peaceful this morning. Buen Camino. And you, and you. I just stopped at a cafe and had a wonderful experience. A lovely woman um, came up to me at the cafe and said, I think I know you, how do I know you? And we couldn't work it out. And then I said, uh, I do some YouTube videos. Maybe you've seen one of those. And she said, yes. Yes, I've seen them. I am uh, a subscriber and I, you know, I enjoyed watching your videos and thank you for making content. So it was a lovely experience to see her and get to talk to her and see that she's out on the Camino. Yes, it is open. 
pastillas van arriba a la cadena. Pero, pero lo que no lo entiendo. Pero insisto, eh. Pero yo insisto. Pero yo creo que la suya más a menudo. Wow. Es un monstruo. Really glad I stopped at the cafe in that last town. I uh, had a nice uh, bacon bocadillo, some water. Feeling charged up now, I'm ready to go on it. Looks, he says, crossing his fingers, like it's not going to rain again. Now I know I've just jinxed myself, <laughs> but um, yeah, I really recommend stopping at that halfway po point between uh, Mushia and Fistera. massive wind turbines something to think about if you are looking to book uh, rooms in albergues the private ones that are on booking.com Bella Muschia which is a really nice albergue that everyone recommended was completely full on booking.com. They only had expensive double rooms. I just used the uh, Wise Pilgrim app and called him through uh, WhatsApp and he has lots of beds. So what they often do is hold back the dormitory beds for pilgrims. And also they don't want to pay the 15% commission for the booking websites. So it can be beneficial to call. I don't speak much Spanish at all. I am going to learn, I promise. So I ask if they speak English and sometimes they do. So I ask for a bed and I was able to communicate with them. So it's always worth giving it a try. As with every Camino, my body is <laughs> glad it's over. My feet are aching a bit, but my heart always, all well, my heart stays on the Camino. Um, yeah, let's see what Muxia, Muxia has to offer. <laughs> 